good afternoon today afternoon class <coughs> will be the continuation of that uh, solutions of the problems uh, with, res with reference to the calculations of uh, direction cosines direction ratios uh, projection of a line on another line and the angle between uh, the lines with respect to these concepts uh, as far as uh, three dimensional geometry is concerned uh, in one of the problems which I was explaining in the previous class about the cube which has uh, the dimension a units in all the directions then I was telling about uh, the four diagonals uh, are possible in that uh, cube and in those four diagonals we insert uh, that means we entertain another line which should pass through the all the four diagonals then uh, that line makes with those four diagonals uh, the angles respectively as alpha beta gamma and delta if that is the case then we have to derive these results some of the squares of the uh, cosine functions with respect to the angles like alpha beta gamma delta instead I think I, I have represented like <coughs> a 1 a 2 a 3 and a 4 that value some of the squares of cosine functions is equal to 4 by 3 and some of the squares of the sine trigonometric functions is equal to 8 by 3. I shall repeat uh, the figure and then uh, since it is one of the important examples with reference to the chapter number 1 then carefully observe what uh, the uh, details I am giving in this problem and the next two problems also will be of uh, uh, similar type of calculations but a different uh, statement of the problem it is given. The figure which I would like to repeat in my previous lecture I had given the figure today I shall repeat the figure and then I shall uh, represent the vertices of that cube when it has a units means equal dimension in all the directions that is the figure which I am going to write. this is the cube which we are placing on three dimensional case that is x axis this is y axis this is the origin and this is z axis <coughs> i represent the coordinates uh, by writing this as point p and this as a and this as b and this as c these are the vertices uh, these are the edges of the tra uh, cube in those corners then p will be the point if it is a dimensions on the x axis that is o a is equal to a similarly o b is equal also a and o c is also a <coughs> then p has the coordinates a a and then a if i represent this one uh, a point a on the x axis means in the positive direction then i must represent in the negative x axis direction that must be a dash if I represent b then in the negative y direction that is b dash if I represent c in the z direction then this must be c dash listen here what uh, the uh, proper vertices with the coordinates I am going to represent the, that plays the major role in giving the description what the description we have to calculate drs between the uh, four diagonals which are possible inside the cube then you have to find out the actual disease okay when once you record the direction cosines of all the four diagonals where 
those four diagonals are possible inside the Q then I shall introduce one more line that means I, I insert one more line which passes through all the four diagonals inside the Q that line makes the angles with the first uh, diagonal as alpha with the second diagonal as beta with the third diagonal as gamma and with the last diagonal as delta according to that so if this is a units obviously you can easily make out a comma 0 0 on the x axis y is 0 and z is 0 and x is that is between 0 to a a takes the coordinates small a 0 and 0. Uh, once uh, you take like this then you finish the job in the opposite direction what is that in the opposite direction whatever coordinates here that means 0 are there then it has the magnitude therefore this must be 0 a a because this q I have written this q in the positive planes this must be x o y plane this one and this must be x o z plane if I write like this x o y plane this one and x o z plane and this is the combination o uh, y o and then z this must be y o z plane. So, we have three planes this is positive and this is also positive and this is also positive all the uh, areas which I cover here by writing this figure in the positive quadrants therefore, this must be 0 a and then a. Similarly, b has the coordinates this should be 0 a and then 0 and c has the uh, b means b dash opposite 1 should be a that is 0 and then a if c has the coordinates that is 0 0 and then that is in place of z should be a then its opposite direction that means c dash will be a a and then 0 this is the very important job in the figure itself if you give more details and if you understand the figure here what you are going to do that is the next uh, part of this one. Suppose uh, I repeat the explanation what I have given in the previous uh, uh, lecture. If this is the room, you imagine where you are sitting in that room itself. How many? Uh, if you assume that it is a cube, means in all the directions the dimension is a units. You assume that uh, you stick to that point. Then diagonals, possible diagonals, you can draw. That is from the top corner. This is the bottom. Okay, one diagonal then reverse that is from the top corner and this is the bottom. So, you are going to finish two diagonals from this uh, particular uh, corners. Now, I am going to join this one this top corner and the bottom corner there. So, top corner and bottom corner that is a third diagonal and one more diagonal means their top corner and here it is bottom corner. Therefore, here two uh, diagonals and in this direction two diagonals which are possible. So, totally how many there will be four diagonals inside the cube that means uh, now that is one diagonal here that is O p right. I shall start this one with the O p itself that means this is one diagonal and that must be another diagonal here that is with c and c dash next b and b dash then a and a dash. You imagine this is a three dimensional uh, diagram you have here a a dash one diagonal b b dash another diagonal c c dash one more diagonal and o p totally four diagonals are possible. Now, what I do here I am drawing one line here I am drawing one line here that should be like this when those diagonals are possible you assume that already diagonals are drawn 
So, from any direction if you allow this line to pass through this is called the fifth line, this is called the fifth line. So, diagonal 1 you can represent D 1, D 2, D 3 and D 4. So, these are the actual diagonals remember corners are joined actual diagonals. Now, I am allowing one line to pass through which intersects one line to pass through which intersects all the four diagonals. For example, in this direction if I write and I can also consider in another direction therefore, this line this line the new line which I am allowing is capital L this one. So, now you have to talk about uh, uh, their uh, directions. So, direction directions of these diagonals are fixed, but direction of this line we do not know. The direction of that line should be calculated by representing the direction cosines. To calculate the direction cosines, you have to calculate the direction cosines of the diagonals and the fifth one. Therefore, L is this one. So, totally how many straight lines we have? This is 1, 2, 3 and 4 and then 5, totally 5 straight lines out of which 4 are diagonals and one more the new line I am allowing either in this direction or in this direction or in this direction I am allowing. Okay. It makes the angles alpha, beta, gamma, delta with the 4 diagonals. Now, my work starts mathematical steps will start. If this is the structure of the given statement then what I have to do? Now, uh, if I take uh, the uh, uh, coordinates of A and then A dash okay, here A, A dash the diagonal with the coordinates these sets A 0 0 0 A comma A. Carefully observe that when, when this straight line is passing through two given points in one of the previous lectures even two three occasions already I had explained when the straight line is passing through two given set of points then the direction ratios are given are given by like x 2 minus x 1 comma y 2 minus y 1 and z 2 minus z 1. You treat this set of points like x 1 x 1 y 1 z 1 and x 2 y 2 z 2. If this is x 2 then each other uh, diagonal means I calculate direction ratios of a a dash will be next point minus previous point that means 0 minus a minus 0 next is 0 minus a uh, sorry I am going in the reverse order this one because a is there and a dash that means a dash minus a no problem in any direction you can write but to prove my result to avoid a 1 minus sign I consider next minus previous even you can take previous minus next also because it is simply the uh, difference between those two values that makes no difference because magnitude wise in any direction you can take it is both both are same therefore next minus previous point so if i write in this order next point minus previous point so a dash a dash means 0 0 minus this one a right then uh, this must be 0 minus means a minus 0 then a minus 0. I represent these values uh, as direction ratios like a 1, b 1, c 1. I represent these values <coughs> by means of a 1, b 1, c 1 direction ratios. Similarly, on the remaining you take remaining 3 diagonals. Next is this is b b dash will be b b dash of course, these values will be a that is minus a a and then plus a these are the values b b dash b b dash that is a minus 0 first value then 0 minus a next value a minus 0 these values will be a this should be minus a, this should be a and these values are nothing but a 2, b 2 and then c 2. Second set of uh, direction ratios, these are the first set of direction ratios. Similarly, this, this is the first diagonal, I told you that 4 diagonals are possible, 
first diagonal A A dash. You can imagine any corners you can join. Ah, totally how many corners in this room we have? That is the corner, that is the corner and bottom. Therefore, totally four corners are there. If you observe from this direction, this is one corner, this is another corner, bottom is another corner, bottom is another corner. Therefore, totally eight corners are possible, we call them as vertices, vertices that means edges, we can call edges. Why it is edges? Because this is the plane, this is wall is also plane, that wall is also plane, they meet at one point. They form the right handed screw system, this is perpendicular to this one, this is perpendicular to this one. Okay. Similarly, that corner if you observe, there is a ceiling and this wall and that wall, all the three will meet at one point that is also another corner. Similarly, bottom, then see except ceiling, floor will be added. Therefore, this wall, the floor and that wall will meet at one point, only at one point they must be mutually perpendicular to each other, not more than one point, single point, only single point that they must meet at, uh, meet and then uh, the meaning will be right handed screw system. Like the, likewise, in every room, in every room you take for reference with this condition, with this condition Q, therefore, four diagonals are possible. Probably you must have studied in chemistry subject, the crystal structure, even those you are studying in the electronics branch, I hope uh, you can uh, go for uh, some more details with these geometrical ideas because these geometrical fundamentals will play the major role in declaring the crystal structure of the material, uh, both in electronics branch and uh, in chemistry and physics. Of course, uh, they, uh, in all these three occasions, people are going to study. They apply these all these values while declaring from where it starts and where it ends and uh, in which direction those lines are there. Okay. Now, this is uh, direction ratios of uh, another uh, uh, diagonal that is C, C dash must be C, C dash means C dash, this is B dash minus B, this is C dash minus C, C and then C dash should be A minus 0, A minus 0 and 0 minus A should be, this must be A, this must be A and minus A or the third set of uh, direction ratios that is A3, B3 and then C3. So, one more diagonal I have to re represent, then DRs of that is OP, DRs, are OP, uh, DRs of OP means origin has the coordinates, origin always they are the fixed values 0, 0, 0 in the three dimensional case. In the two dimensional case, origin has 0, 0. Therefore, having the reference of these three points and then P has that is non-zero uh, numbers which uh, direction cosines you can write very easily and by subtracting all these zeros that is A minus 0, A minus 0 and A minus 0 respectively. I'll I can take this is A4, B4 and then C4 as the direction ratios of the line OP. Now, what is our next job? When once you start, uh, I mean representing the direction ratios, you have to convert them to direction cosines. So, these are called, these are called proportional DCs. As I told you in one of the previous classes, these are called proportional DCs. Proportional DC, DCs means they are also the numerical values represent the positive direction of the lines, that is all. Now, actual DCs, actual DCs, actual direction cosines of A, A dash, B, B dash, C, C dash and O, P are for the first set of values, for example, A 1, B 1, C 1 for a, A dash, we have the actual DCs. The formula already I have given in my introduction class. If A, B, C are the direction ratios, then the direction, actual direction cosine L is equal to A divided by square root of A square plus B square plus C square. That should be like this. The first one is minus A divided by sum of the square, uh, squares of this one under the root. That should be minus A whole square plus A square 
and then plus a square this should be minus a by <coughs> square root of 3 a square minus a divided by this must be a into root of <coughs> 3 then it comes minus 1 by root 3 one calculation you give in detail one calculation remaining calculation similarly you can write because you are studying for the first time and yeah, you have to understand all these concepts very clearly then one calculation if you give for example like this then others similarly I will be writing this is for one value means for minus a and directly here itself I am going to write for a a dash the actual disease or here minus sign is there you are getting minus 1 by root 3 <coughs> in every calculation that a cancels then it will be 1 by root 3 then 1 by root 3 these are the actual direction cosines of the first diagonal that is a a dash now similarly other values I am going to represent other values means b b dash for b b dash the actual direction cosines will be directly if I write with the reference of these values that is a minus a and then a should be uh, these these values you can represent as symbols like you have represented as a1 b1 c1 here l1 m1 and n1 because the commonly used notations which we are using for representing the uh, direction of that particular diagonal that is diagonal is a a dash now similar thing happens in the other three cases so that is b b dash should be a means 1 by root 3 minus 1 by root 3 and 1 by root 3 these are the three values of the as the direction cosines and these will be represented L2 M2 and then N2 similarly for C C dash should be direction cosines actual direction cosines 1 by root 3 comma 1 by root 3 comma minus 1 by root 3 one sign will be shifted every time therefore L3 M3 and then N3 and one more uh, diagonal that is OP that represents 1 by root 3 because all the 3 are positive all the 3 are OP means A A and then A these are the values therefore 1 by root 3 then 1 by root 3 then 1 by root 3 my representation for these uh, symbols uh, these values as L4 M4 and then M N4 <coughs> that means 4 sets of direction ratios and correspondingly 4 set of direction 4 sets of 4 set of 4 sets of direction cosines ok now the representation that means the direction of the of those lines are fixed so when I take like this this is the first diagonal and this is the second diagonal and this is the third diagonal and this one is fourth diagonal now I write I take the uh, uh, new line when four assume that four diagonals are already uh, fixed now I am taking one more line to pass through this one the still that are not shown here that line will be that line will be uh, I had mentioned like capital L according to the statement a line makes a line makes angles with the four diagonals of a cube show that angles here in the question uh, I have included like a1 a2 a3 a4 but uh, in the actual text uh, it is uh, sometimes they are using like alpha beta gamma delta now this is the line makes the angles alpha beta gamma and then delta this line either like this this line presently it is like this or I can take like this or I can take like this with reference to this plane 1 2 3 there are 3 planes so that on these planes you can allow uh, planes means in the space from the uh, starting from one of the planes or in any direction but it must pass through all the 4 diagonals when it makes the angles alpha beta gamma and delta now what I am going to propose is 
these are the four sets of direction cosines define define a new line new line uh, which passes through new line which passes through a a dash b b dash c c dash and o p with d c s with d c s what values with the d c s as l m n with the d c s as l m n ok. So, now I represent uh, your a a a dash the d c s are like this then b b dash. So, these are minus 1 by root 3 1 by root 3 1 by root 3 these are l 1 m 1 n 1 ok. Now, I will remove this right. Now, you concentrate the values which I retained on the board this is the next line this is 1 this is 2 this is 3 and this is 4 there are four lines means four diagonals fifth line I am taking let let me take this fifth line as some capital L has the direction cosines L m n that fifth line is nothing but this is the one this is the one which intersects all the four diagonals then uh, that has the direction cosines. So, now what I am going to do is uh, angle which makes uh, uh, the fifth line with the first line what is the answer then fifth line with the second uh, diagonal what is the angle fifth line with the third diagonal what is the angle fifth line with the fourth diagonal what is the angle when once you record all those values remaining is only the simple mathematics squaring and adding and all those things you have to do it ok. Now, if it has the direction cosines L m n such that such that L with a a dash ok that gives cos theta general formula what is the formula on the right side L 1 L 2 plus m 1 m 2 plus n 1 n 2 because already those uh, uh, derivations are given cos theta is equal to L 1 L 2 that means now I am talking about the fifth line and the first line. So, first line has the DC uh, this is 1 by 3 a a dash a a dash it should be minus 1 by 3 first one then it must be minus 1 by 3 into this one is L right then plus 1 by 1 by root 3 plus 1 by root 3 m that is plus 1 by root 3 should be n is there. Therefore, this must be written 1 by root 3 multiplied by should be l with minus plus m plus n this is the value of cos theta, but this one you represent as cos alpha the common notation is cos theta. Now, in the statement of the problem it is represented that fifth line makes the angle alpha with the four diagonals that is with the first diagonal out of the four diagonals first diagonal cos alpha. Similarly, that is uh, L with b b dash L with b b dash means let the angle be cos beta then cos of beta directly you can write if you have understood this first calculation directly we can write that must be 1 by root 3 again will become common next is L minus m plus n this one is only the cyclic order you can change that uh, uh, shift that minus sign to the next term like then L with C C dash that is cos uh, gamma that is equal to 1 by root 3 should be L plus m and then minus n these are the values one more is left with me that is L with O p that makes alpha beta gamma and delta therefore cos delta is equal to 1 by root 3 
multiplied by all the three are positive here 1 by root 3 1 by root 3 and then 1 by root 3 this must be L plus M plus N geometry work is completed geometry explanation is completed what I am going to do remaining is only the mathematical simplification that means arithmetic part now the geometry part is over arithmetic part I have to uh, represent okay uh, what is the required uh, result you have to prove the first result is cos square alpha plus cos square beta plus cos square gamma uh, plus cos square delta is equal to 4 by 3 so that result I am going to derive now all the values which I have recorded now right how we got it this one through that uh, diagram where possibility of four diagonals are there now let me take uh, this one cos square alpha plus cos square taking some of the squares of these values directly this is the arithmetic work I am doing cos square beta plus cos square gamma plus cos square delta is equal to I have to make square of all these values and then I have to expand these brackets a uh, common uh, term I can get it as 1 by 3 comes removal of square root sign when I make it a square square of this one removal of square root sign this must be inside that is minus L plus M plus N whole square then L minus M plus N whole square plus of next one that is L plus M minus minus N whole square and plus of L plus M plus N whole square this is the requirement I have to derive this value as 4 by 3 that is all all the terms are to be removed how we are going to remove that is your next job what you are going to propose here this is first bracket this is second bracket third bracket all the three brackets with the sum of the three terms whole square what is the formula says we have what is the formula that is a plus b plus c whole square is equal to a square plus b square plus c square plus 2ab plus 2bc plus 2 times ca that formula should be applied now maybe uh, out of three terms one is negative out of three terms one is negative out of three terms one is negative all the three terms are positive if you expand this one uh, some of these steps I am not going to write I hope you can in your leisure time you can check the answer which I am going to write now because uh, uh, it becomes too lengthier in this board so that I can avoid some calculations then I can write directly what is that 1 by 3 multiply to from all the three uh, four brackets you can expect all the uh, uh, four brackets you can expect what is that that should be L square right M square plus N square how many times it appears here L square plus M square plus N square how many times L square here L square here L square here L square here four times okay right four times here M square similarly appears whether it is a minus sign or plus sign but a square plus b square plus c square definitely it is going to happen because uh, square of this minus m gives us plus m square square of minus n gives us plus n square square of this minus l whole square because minus whole square becomes plus sign always therefore 4 times l square then 4 times m n square plus 4 times n square this is the only material I am going to write remaining you can check in your leisure time all the other terms will happen for example in the first uh, bracket if you expand 1 2 3 there are 3 uh, terms are there okay so 3 here 3 here 3 here and then 3 here 3 4 are 12 12 terms you are going to get after the proper expansion right according to the sign 12 terms uh, you are going to expect out of which you work this in your leisure time out of 12 terms six terms will be negative and six terms will be positive all those terms are going to be cancelled you can verify that in your leisure time now one by uh, this one uh, uh, three 
then 4 I can take common from this then it is L square plus N square plus N square. Now L square plus M square plus N square means what? That is equal to sum of the direction cosines, sum of the direction cosines is always unity. This result already I had derived in my introduction class. Therefore, 4 by 3 into 1 that is the result already you know L square plus M square plus N square is equal to 1 means cos square alpha plus cos square beta plus cos square gamma is always unity. This result already I have derived. Therefore, I am taking the help of this, that result. The final answer is should be 4 by 3. This is the end of the earth, uh, calculation work, simplification work. This is geometry and this is simplification, mathematical simplification. There is another result uh, in the same problem which you have to derive this one that is <coughs> sin square uh, you treat this one as a1 as alpha then sin square beta then sin square gamma plus sin square delta because I have written there uh, as a1, a2, a3 and then a4. Then those uh, four symbols will be taken as alpha, beta, gamma and delta. Anyway this result you got it as uh, 4 by 3 then express sin cos function in terms of sin function. This is the result 4 by 3 I had derived. Now to get in terms of sin you know the formula that is cos square theta plus it is sin square theta is equal to 1. I express this cos function in terms of sin function cos square theta is equal to 1 minus it is sin square theta that is your basic formula from the trigonometry. You can make use of that that is 1 minus it is sin square alpha plus 1 minus sin square beta plus 1 minus sin square uh, gamma plus 1 minus it is sin square delta. This must be taken as 4 by 3. Now keep this 4 in the left side send all the trigonometric functions on the right side. Then if I write like that sin square alpha plus sin square beta plus sin square gamma plus sin square delta is equal to this must be 4 minus it is 4 by 3 because 1 plus 1 plus 1 plus 1 is equal to 4. If I bring that term to the left side it must be 4 minus uh, 4 by 3 then if you take the LCM as 3 this becomes that is 12 minus 4 by 3 the answer is 8 by 3. That is what your required answer in this problem. That is first summation. First summation is 4 by 3 and second summation is 8 by 3. So that is the end of the problem. Uh, one of the standard uh, problems. I am going to explain another uh, very important example uh, having the same uh, type of uh, ideas about direction ratios and direction cosines. There is one more problem. <coughs> it must be like this prove that the lines prove that the lines whose direction cosines are given by the relations al plus bm plus cn is equal to 0 and mn plus nl plus lm is equal to 0 are for two conditions one is perpendicular this result has to be proved if they are parallel uh, this result is to be proved in one of the previous lectures i had uh, solved the problem uh, only for simple calculation uh, of the same type of data that is uh, direction cosines are included in the form of some uh, uh, symbols but they are not the numericals some symbols. So in terms of those symbols when direction cosines are included as relations then only one condition which you have derived that is uh, not like this it was given the answer was not given prove the condition for perpendicularity prove the condition for per perpendicularity means uh, already many times I had explained in the, all these uh, uh, 3 4 hours that means when two lines are perpendicular it becomes 90 degree between the two lines then cos 90 is equal to 0 always but here the answer is given statement is given both the answers are given one is perpendicular if this 1 by a plus 1 by b plus 1 by c is equal to 0 and for the parallel condition that is a to the power half plus b to the power half plus c to the power half is equal to 0 that means root a plus root b plus root c is equal to 0. 
this is another uh, very interesting problem that uh, I shall prove without without the figure figure is not necessary then you have to calculate uh, the values by making use of those two relations that means one value you separate and substitute in another equation and try for the calculation of those direction cosines and arrange in the form of some quadratic function then apply the condition for uh, quadratic function otherwise property of the quadratic function how that uh, property of the quadratic function behaves uh, that you can see once those two lines are parallel the condition is to be proved uh, reciprocal of a plus reciprocal of b plus reciprocal of c is equal to 0 and if the lines are parallel like this then you have to prove that root of a plus root of b plus root of c is equal to 0 anyway those relations are like this the first relation is uh, a l plus b m a l plus b m plus c n is equal to 0 and one more is m n plus of n l plus l m is equal to 0. <coughs> now, I will take uh, uh, the value one of the three values from the first equation then I shall substitute in the next equation. Okay. If I take uh, from the uh, first equation uh, the last uh, term as I had taken in the previous problem I will do the same thing because for simplicity uh, generally in the successive order the last number the last symbol will be explained in terms of the previous symbols because if you take uh, x y z always in the functions and relations in the set theory you must have studied in other uh, branch of the mathematics when you say that uh, <coughs> I'm sorry when you say that uh, uh, symbols in the successive order like uh, a b c uh, or x y z z is a function of x comma y then y is a function of uh, x then it must be in the same order z is a function of x comma y there are two symbols to be represented then if I take from the first relation this is equation number 1 this is equation number 2 1 gives 1 gives n if I take that is equal to minus a l plus b m and divided by it is c that is all then uh, putting this value put this in 2 we get in place of n if I substitute m into a l minus minus that is b m by c by c n in place of n that is l into minus a l and uh, uh, minus b m by c and l into m equal to 0 only the mathematical work through mathematical work here figure is not necessary actually figure is necessary but I am avoiding even other method directly also you can write this is the shortcut method I am explaining now if you take this as LCM then this must be minus m a l minus b into m square this must be minus a into a into l square and minus this must be minus uh, that is b into m into l plus c into l into m then the lcm c will be written on the uh, right side as multiplication to this 0 therefore 0 into c becomes 0 now he, here you have second degree as you have discussed in one of the previous uh, problems second degree term I will keep one term I will keep okay, because there are two second degree terms are there then I shall declare the equation which I am going to make use for, for my future calculation as it is quadratic in terms of that number. Okay. If I take this L as usual L if I take so minus A into L square plus L into write all the other terms that is A into M that is uh, plus of B into M plus of C into M. Okay. I think uh, this is M multiplied this is also M multiplied this is also M multiplied let me check in place of N you are substituting minus A L plus B M means minus both and in place of N 
minus a l plus b m means minus b m then l into m ok. So, a m l with minus sign minus b m square minus a into l square minus b into m l plus l into m into c that is equal to 0 where c is multiplied there. Now, if I write uh, a l square plus l plus c is equal to 0 quadratic function a l square this I am keeping in the first position. So, l if I take outside minus a m minus a m ok then uh, l I am taking minus b m this is another term l if I take minus c m and uh, another term which is left with me should be b into m square is equal to 0. Now, so this will be like uh, uh, if you avoid this minus sign then a into l square minus uh, minus and all the three terms are with minus and this minus if you multiply you will get it as plus sign that is a into m plus b into m plus c into m multiplied by l minus b into m square is equal to 0. So, this is uh, like a l square plus b l plus capital C is equal to 0 which is which is quadratic in l which is quadratic in l which is quadratic in l means uh, <coughs> quadratic in L means uh, L square first uh, second degree and then first degree and then here third degree like ok. Then here L square by M square right. Uh, I want to convert this quadratic equation in terms of that means uh, dividing throughout by M square. For some uh, purpose I am taking like this that should be A into L by M whole square and here plus of m if you take common m if you take common m square you are dividing that is 1 by m a plus b plus c plus c into l minus b is equal to 0 that means a l square uh, uh, I mean roots will be like l 1 and then a l 2. <coughs> then the roots which we are going to obtain for this situation as like uh, uh, L 1 by M 1, L 1 by M 1 because here M L is there this can be written as A into L by M whole square plus of L by M into A plus B, A plus B minus uh, plus C ok minus b equal to 0. This is your quadratic equation in terms of quadratic in L, but this one which is quadratic which is quadratic in L by m ok. If according to quadratic equation procedure if uh, anyway L by M I have written instead of L I have written as L by M therefore, it must represent two numbers means two values L 1 by M 1 as one number and L 2 by M 2 as another number. If L 1 by M 1 and L 2 by M 2 be the two roots two roots then you have studied in the lower level classes even high school level also you have studied in the uh, 10, uh, 11th and 12th class also you have studied. Sum of the quadra uh, these two roots is equal to minus b by a and product of the, the uh, product of these two roots is equal to c by a. I am using that property. What is that property here? Sum of the uh, numbers that means roots L 1 by M 1 plus L 2 by M 2 is equal to according to the formula minus b by a here minus b by a means this one a plus b plus c according to this existing step I must put minus sign minus b by a here a is same and 
product of these two roots L1 by M1 into L2 by M2 is equal to C by A. Here C by A means this must be B minus B uh, minus B divided by A. Therefore, here it must be taken as product of the roots and then <coughs> L1 L2 that means uh, here if I take uh, cross multiplication L1 L2 into A is equal to minus B M1 should be M2. Therefore, uh, this I will be taking as a reciprocal in the denominator that is L1 L2 divided by 1 by A is equal to M1 it should be M2 minus 1 by B. This sign I have to check this, this, this should have been plus sign. Okay. Then this is L1 L2 means product of the direction cosines this is also product of the direction cosines this is one approach. Another approach means had you separated the value of uh, uh, M instead N you will get the relation between uh, uh, relation between N and L had you separated the value of L you will get the relation between M and N like that it is a cyclic order then I sh you have to take that value and you have to equal those values in particular and then see that uh, some simplification must be taken the first condition will be derived. So, I would like to stop up to this point in the present lecture if there are any questions you can uh, uh, ask uh, freely and then I will clarify it. Thank you.